China is battling a new and rapidly spreading respiratory virus. This after authorities revealed the coronavirus can be spread between humans. The number of cases has gone from a few dozen last week to nearly 300 now. Airports and train stations on high alert. China's deadly never seen before coronavirus has now been found in four other countries, including the United States. <laughs> This is how I knew that, okay, this thing is real. Like, people are dying. <laughs> no virus fashioned against me shall prosper. Amen. <laughs> Welcome to my roller coaster. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Super Sami Sami, if you'd like, and I live here in China. I've been here for three years now, and I make videos about living as a foreigner here in China, life as a black girl here in China. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new, and make sure you click the little bell right next so that you get a notification every time I post. So without further ado, hmm, let's get into the tea of this video. As you guys may or may not already know, okay, it's all over the news, all over ABC News, BBC News, Al Jazeera News, ZBC News, CNN News, everywhere news, but ABC News, BBC News, Al Jazeera News, but ABC News, BBC News, Al Jazeera News. It's literally headlining everywhere that there is a virus, there is a disease that is in the air outside hmm? this air that i'm breathing right now could be infected with a disease that might kill me hmm? <laughs> guys i come to you in the bubbliest of spirits but inside they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand there's a virus that is going around everywhere china it's called the coronavirus and in this video i'm going to be sharing information hmm? I've done my research and I'm here to share with you guys the information, everything you need to know about this virus. What can we do to prevent ourselves from having it? What are the signs and symptoms, okay? And I'm going to be sharing all of that with you guys here in this video and also educating you that may not be here in China about what exactly is going on, what's being said, what's happening, all of that tea in this video. So yes, let's get right into it this virus originated from wuhan but since then it has spread there's been cases in beijing in shenzhen even internationally in tokyo in south korea and today literally i got a notification telling me that there's been a case that's been recorded in the u.s so it's spreading like a wildfire and i'm scared for my life y'all like what is the coronavirus the coronavirus is a group of viruses that originally originated from animals right so it transmits from animals to humans uh, scientists call it a zoonatic that means it can it has the ability to transfer from an animal to a human so from the news if you've been watching the news you probably already know that this virus has been traced back to a food market in Wuhan that was selling seafood and live animals and all of that so that's where it originated from and now it has been known it has been found out that it is transmitting from human to human what are the symptoms of the coronavirus the symptoms of the coronavirus are very similar to the common cold so if you find yourself with a runny nose a cough a, like sneezing non-stop like just symptoms that seem like a cold but that are not like that keep going on over you know you need to go get checked you need to go to the hospital go get checked because i'm not saying you have it i'm not a doctor i'm not diagnosing it i'm a pharmacist though to be <laughs> but all i'm saying is you need to go get checked for those with a weakened immune system we're talking the the elderly you're gonna find that they're gonna cause symptoms like pneumonia so actually when this thing started it was more like many patients were going in the hospital with like pneumonia symptoms until it was found out that it's the coronavirus so currently you guys as you have seen from the first clip that i've inserted there are over 400 cases of the coronavirus that have been detected and nine deaths that have been confirmed so this thing is actually not a joke like how does the coronavirus spread so the coronavirus like i said in the beginning it spreads from animals to humans but now it has been seen that it's spreading from human to human and here in china where a lot 
like there's so many people there are billions of people in china so you, we have to be really careful guys i'm speaking to all the everyone who's watching this video if you're in china foreigners chinese people watching this video we need to be really careful because it's spreading from human to human how it spreads when someone comes in contact with an infected person's secretions so say for example someone who's infected coughs or sneezes into their hands and i come into contact with their hands i hold their hand and then i come and touch my mouth my nose or my eyes i'm gonna get infected so depending on how strong the virus is from the infected person if i come into contact with someone who's infected and they sneeze or cough and then i come into contact with them then i'm gonna get affected it can also be spread by me touching something that the infected person has touched and then touching my nose my mouth or my eyes how can we prevent the coronavirus i feel like hmm, i need to emphasize this point because it affects all of us it affects me i'm even scared to go outside you guys <laughs> i'm literally gonna be stuck in my house until they say okay it is safe and then hmm? otherwise i'm stuck in my house i'm gonna run down um my notes about how we can prevent ourselves from catching this virus so the first thing that we can all do to prevent ourselves from catching this virus is wearing a mask you guys literally this morning yeah i wanted to go buy something uh downstairs so i decided just to, to pass by the um pharmacy downstairs to get myself a mask and literally they were like 10 15 people like waiting it's a really small pharmacy just outside there were like 10 15 people waiting to buy the mask and now they're saying only one person can, can get one mask like you can't buy more than one mask uh, i tried to film i'm gonna leave the small footage now <laughs> I didn't want to seem like a creep so I didn't want to be you know videoing people but basically now you can only buy one mask per person this is how I knew that okay this thing is real like people are dying okay it's not a joke now masks are even scarce like they sold out you guys like they've become a rare commodity it's like they want us to die but no no virus fashioned against me shall prosper amen <laughs> Anyway, yes, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to wear a mask, okay, everywhere you go, make sure you have your mask on, you don't want to risk it, like I said, this is an airborne disease now, like you can get it, if someone sneezes, if someone who's infected sneezes into the air and then you go and breathe, you are going to get infected so make sure you have your mask on yeah just make sure go over to your nearest pharmacy get yourself a mask and make sure you have a mask everywhere if you're gonna be outdoors the second point make sure that when you sneeze huh sometimes you might not know that you have it hmm? please I, I don't want to but make sure that when you cough at least have a handkerchief or like a like tissue in your hand make sure you cough or you sneeze into a tissue and throw it into the bin okay you don't want to cough into your hands and especially you might be infected but you don't know okay please do not put the rest of us hmm? don't put the rest of us at the risk so make sure that when you cough or you sneeze you have a handkerchief or a tissue paper or something cough or sneeze into a tissue and then throw it into the bin please please and um, please please okay okay and then the third point make sure you guys make sure you wash your hands hmm? wash your hands thoroughly don't just you're done make sure you a good 30 seconds washing your hands wash all the i'm gonna maybe insert a clip on how you should wash your hands hmm? but make sure you wash them thoroughly wash all the way up to make sure you <clears throat> wash your hands all the way medical students you know how to wash your hands if you don't I'm going to leave a clip for you to wash your hands properly you want to wash your hands frequently and correctly now there are five steps to good hand washing first step one is you want to wash the palm of your hands with soap or an alcohol based rub step two is washing the back of your hands step three is making sure you get in between your fingers Step four, making sure you wash the tips of your fingers. And step five is making sure you get your thumbs. Don't come, please, along this period, huh? don't come and want to handshake me. From now on, we, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Number four, you guys, make sure you strengthen your immune system. huh? If you are lazy like me, <laughs> that better stop. Please try and go to the gym. 
take a jog but make sure you wear your mask when you're going jog it's winter we know but at least try and keep yourself active keep yourself fit so that you know that you are you know it's winter all of us we want to be staying in bed like honestly i would be in bed right now and sometimes if you're just in bed you might fall sick and you don't know it so make sure you keep fix keep hmm? exercise your body you need to make sure that your body is fit so make sure you exercise keep fit you guys eat healthy yeah make sure your immune system is so that if the virus comes but again i repeat no virus fashioned against us shall prosper comment amen down below <laughs> okay but yeah if if by any chance huh, sometimes the people back home in the village they might be <laughs> doing the thing so that the virus can come to you but we rebuke it in jesus name amen <laughs> another thing you guys make sure that if you're gonna be having vegetables wash them thoroughly hmm? In the market there, people can just come here, just <laughs> and then I want to come and touch and feel the tomatoes if they are. Hmm? Make sure you when you buy vegetables, you guys you wash them thoroughly, get home. Okay, make sure they are thoroughly washed before you eat. Make sure your food is thoroughly cooked, especially meat, you guys. Like those of you who like to eat like <laughs> sushi, huh? Sushi eaters. Hmm? This is for you please me for now i'm not eating any sushi i'm not eating any of this seafood in fact i might even go vegetarian but i wash my vegetables but anyway make sure you guys wash your vegetables thoroughly make sure you guys cook your meat thoroughly okay make sure just make sure you're safe we don't want any cases to start hearing on the news or oh, a girl from please and make sure you carry hand sanitizer everywhere like i said you must make sure you wash your hands okay avoid if you touch you know I, I, some things are inevitable you're going to be opening taxi doors and all of that make sure you carry hand sanitizer go to the nearest pharmacy buy yourself some hand sanitizer and sanitize your hands now every now and then you guys like yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope i have spread some education hmm? Some education for those of you who don't watch the news like i said please go watch the news you guys you cannot just be in this world and coexist coexisting without knowing what is happening around you hmm? but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys like this video i will come back probably with updates of what is going on what's happening what it does what it does okay zipping and doing it right here in china but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye